Rana, Kannada, Rana was one of the earliest and arguably one of the greatest poets of the Kannada language. His style of writing is often compared to that of Adhikavi Pampa who wrote in the early 10th century. Together, Rana, Adhikavi Pampa and Sri Pana are called, three gems of ancient Kannada literature. Biography <inaudible> 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 Rana was a 10th century Kannada poet. He was born in 949 CE in ancient Muduvalal, known now as Mudhole in the Bagalkot district of the modern Karnataka state in India, to a family of Bengal sellers. <laughs> <laughs> Literature During his early days as a writer, Rana may have been patronized by Chavundaraya or Chavundaraya, the famous minister of the Western Ganga dynasty. With the rise of the imperial Western Chalukya Empire, Rana became an important poet in the court of King Tailapa II and his successor King Satishraya who bestowed upon him the title Kavi Chakravarti lit. Emperor among poets. The writings of Rana are in Halaganada lit. Old Kannada. Of the five known major works accomplished by him, two are available in full and one in part. They are, Ajitha Purana, Parashuramacharith extinct, Sahasabhima Vijaya also known as Gadayuda, Rana Kanda and Chakrasvarakarite extinct, Ajitha Purana 993 CE is a Jain Shampu a form of composition Purana written in twelve sections on the life of Ajitanatha, the second Tirthankar. Rana wrote this Purana under the patronage of a Jain lady called Adamabhi, the wife of General Nagavarma. Rana Kanda 990 CE, so called because it is written in the Kanda meter, is the earliest extant lexicon in the Kannada language. Only twelve sections of this writing are available. Purusharama Charite around 980 CE is a eulogy of the Ganga minister and commander Chamundaraya. The poet held his patron in such high esteem that he claims to have named his son, Raya. In honor of his patron, who had the honorific Samara Parashurama, Sahasabhimavijaya or Gadayuda lit. The Duel of Maces, is undoubtedly Rana's magnum opus that was accomplished in an age of writings on heroism that describe the valor of important personalities Vira Rasa and Rudra Rasa. Written around 1000 CE though some scholars believe it was a product of a more youthful Rana, it is one of the enduring classics of the language where the poet compares the valor of his patron Shalukya king Satishraya to the Pandava prince Bhima of the Hindu epic Mahabharata. Rana keeps with the trend started by Adhikavi Pampa who in 941 CE compared his patron Shalukya king Arakesari a Rashtrakuta vassal to the Pandava prince Arjuna in the classic Vikramarjunavijaya also called Pampa Bharata. While acknowledging that Rana may have found some inspiration from earlier writings such as Urubanga of Basa and Venasamhara or Batanarayana, scholars concede that Gadayuda has an originality of its own. Modern scholars see similarities between Rana's usage of the adult imps called Mural Gal that stalk the battlefield of Kurukshetra and warn Kaurava Prince Duryodhana Bhima's adversary in battle about his impending death, and the description of witches by latter-day famed English playwright, Shakespeare. Some scholars believe that Gadayuda may have been conceived as a play before being completed as a Champakavya epic poem in Kavya style and Shampu meter, while the theme of the narration centers around the battle of maces between Bhima and Duryodhana on the last day of the 18-day war, the poet uses a technique similar to flashbacks in modern cinema to enlighten the reader with important events that led to the war and those events that transpired on the battlefield. Bhima is undoubtedly the hero of the day for slaying his foe and thus avenging the insult suffered by his wife Draupadi at the hands of Dushasana Duryodhana's brother prior to the war. However, Rana skillfully depicts Duryodhana as a great soul, Mahanubhava, who despite his sins, was a brave Kshatriya on the battlefield, and a true friend to Karna another important character in the epic. See also equals equals notes. <laughs>